awesome. Welcome, welcome. Hey, as we um, as we get in here and people filing in, can you do me a big favor? It's really, really, really nice to see some faces for a little bit. So we can go cameras on. You don't have to keep a camera on the entire time. I'll tell you, for the next couple of minutes, it's really nice to say hi to Alan, show him some faces. I like to see you guys too, because I don't get to see all of you every month in person. Some of you are out of my area. Some of you can't make the meeting. Some of it's good, so it's always good. I'll give everyone a big old uh, Zoom-style high five. Uh, we can get a little more modern with the Zoom-style fist bump. And uh, hey, you know, remember, if you got to raise your hand, raise it right up to that camera. Much easier to see that <laughs> than if you're back like this. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's all these little boxes. It's like Hollywood Square's gone wild, as the case may be. Totally awesome. All right. A couple of uh, ground rules as we go. If you have any questions, we're going to hold them till the end. You can uh, type them into the chat. Carolina will be online um, going through the chat. She might have you come off a of mute later on and, and say hi and ask a question. She might just read the question and get it answered. We're going to do all that at the end. A lot of times what happens is Alan's going to answer the questions. Uh, it, it's in your mind, but it's probably moments away from him answering it. So it's easier to just rather than interrupt the flow, <clears throat> hang on, we'll make sure we get to your question. And let's see. Uh, let's keep the chat strictly for those questions that come up. Don't try to keep kind of a sideshow running in the chat. That's usually just distracting to, uh, to, to people. So let's keep the chat for... Um, uh, exact questions. If you have anything in particular, you can direct message me. You can direct message Carolina. Uh, I prefer you do. Carolina should be managing that chat really close and aggressive. I can barely see the screen with or without glasses anymore. So, <laughs> so I got to watch out the way it goes. So, yeah, just uh, uh, hit, hit Carolina up for the messages and you'll be in good shape. So thanks to those that turned their cameras on and could see some faces. I'll say... Welcome to the Traction Real online event, our online training. It's May 2nd, 2023. My, how time flies. Man, I feel like a broken record when I say that. But every month, it does seem like time just goes by faster and faster and faster. And I think about it, we're into the fifth month of the year already. So if you haven't gotten where you wanted to get in your business, maybe that's because one of the big reasons people always tell me is they just don't know where to find the money. I don't know how to find the money for the business. So we thought it would be absolutely perfect to bring the perfect person in to teach you how to find the money for your deals, particularly raising private money and how to make that process easy. Uh, and that's none other than my buddy, Alan Cowgill. Now, Alan and I were out for dinner last week. and We talked a lot about what was going on uh, for the webinar. I said, I want to make sure we get an online event. We don't always do online events every month. I, I try to, if I could... Uh, Twist everyone's arm. Alan said, absolutely, we'll have to take care of your folks uh, online. So that is why Alan is here. He's going to um, teach you re what's really a great technique and a technique that you will absolutely need because I know in the past I've said you can't rely on banks and banks are going to shut you down and things like that. Well, it, hey, even though the banks don't shut you down personally, have you noticed what's happening lately? Banks just get shut down or they're foul or they're falling apart. So I, I don't I don't love uh, banks as our only form of financing. I think it's our responsibility as creative real estate investors to find other sources, better sources, honestly, cheaper sources, more stable sources, and that that's private money. So that's why Alan Goggles here. So, Alan, I think uh, we we did a mic check before. It looks like you're there. How you doing? Well, I'm here. I'm doing good, and I I appreciate you having me, buddy. Oh, my and, pleasure. I'm looking forward to this. Totally awesome. So here's what's going to happen, Alan. You're joining us from Ohio tonight, correct? Yep, Springfield, Ohio. Springfield, Ohio. Totally awesome. So, gang, no matter where you are located, because I know we got people from all over the place, private money works for you, right? Private money works all yep. across uh, the nation. Yeah, and, and in other countries, too. Exactly. So I got, so I got students in Australia and Canada, and yeah, yeah, it's awesome. So you'll be in good shape. So, Alan, I'm going to uh go in the mute i'll tell you what uh take over let's share your screen and then okay. I'll everyone in your hands sounds good thank you very much let's see here all right let me move some stuff around a little bit awesome looking good a little bit more all right 
Hey, I'm going to show you four simple steps to quickly land millions of dollars in private money without spending a dime of your own cash. In fact, I'll tell you right up front, I don't put one penny in my deals. It's all private money. Who this is for is beginning real estate investors, intermediate real estate investors, investment property owners with tenants, real estate investors funding your own deals. And you might want to change your mind on that in time. Look, you have a burning desire, I assume, since you showed up to take your real estate business to the next level, know how to buy properties, uh, apartment complexes, uh, commercial properties, or single family homes. Maybe quit that J-O-B, that was the best day in my life, and make a chunk of money. Learn how to fund deals without having to use any of your own money. Why private money is a game, game changer? No, money is getting more expensive while opportunities to profit have increased. The market is becoming much more competitive. Therefore, knowing how to access private money will give you an advantage. In fact, with what's going on in the market, a huge advantage to grow your business faster and easier. This is a time when people make wealth. You're at the right place. If any of the following sounds familiar, you're missing out on opportunities because you don't have the financial means. Or you want to do more deals, but you're just tapped out financially because you're funding them yourself. Maybe you feel like you're losing money because of the deals you have to pass up on. And you want to do real estate investing full time and leave your J-O-B, but you just aren't there yet. In fact, let me tell you about one of my students here. Uh, I'll share a handful of uh, uh, my students as we go through this. Meet uh, John Cassavetes out of Seattle. He, he said, I made six phone calls and I came up with $2.9 million. How would you make, like to make six phone calls and come up with that kind of money? That's what my students are doing over and over and over again. I'm one of the most experienced private money professionals in the country. And I want to show you some new information about what you can do to easily grow your business and get through the roadblocks and revenue ceiling you may have experienced and prepare for any economic challenges that may be coming ahead. You probably want two things, more opportunities with less hassles and headaches and financial freedom. Who this isn't for? People that aren't committed to having a successful real estate investment business and cynics and skeptics. It's for people that want to learn and grow. There's three things that you're going to learn. Why you need private money, how to get as much private money as you want, and how to avoid making expensive mistakes. My main goal is to show you how to access as much lender money as you need for less hassle and cost than going to a bank. And one of the things I should point out early on here is I'm going to give you a ton of, of training. And so you might want to grab a pad and a pencil, or if you can type that fast on your computer, go from that, use that. Look, you can get access to private money, even if you're new to real estate investing, you don't have any money of your own. And listen to this, you don't have good credit. Private lenders never ask you for, for their, your credit. Um, uh, I've only had, I've been doing this a few decades. Um, I believe only only one person ever asked me for that. And uh, and if they, they would, I wouldn't do business with them. A little bit more about myself. This is my daughter, Brittany, over there in the blue dress. Uh, she's a high school teacher, also teaches uh, uh, college classes. And she's got her master's degree, uh, married. Her husband's a pharmacist. And she's got two little girls, a two-year-old and a five-year-old. And those are my granddaughters. And I love them to, to death. They're just awesome. Uh, the boy there uh, in the band, uh, he didn't care about going to college, but he went anyhow because he wanted to be in the band. And I'll be darned if they didn't march in the Rose Bowl parade his freshman year. And that's a picture I got to take of my boy marching in the Rose Bowl parade. And then I went to the game. Um, and then that's, that's my daughter, Wendy, over there in the, in the black top. Uh, she is a nurse practitioner. And uh, she's got her, her PhD. Mark's got a, a, an associate degree or a business degree. And uh, but Wendy there, she's a nurse practitioner and she uh, is also a nurse. She's also the assistant dean of nursing at a major university. So she's just doing awesome. This is her husband, John. He's got his own business. And that's their son, my grandson, JC. And as you can see, I'm training him to be a successful real estate investor. And that we want to do is sit on the patio and eat ice cream. A little bit about my background. I was out in the corporate world, got a quarter century in corporate America. And as I was climbing that corporate that, that ladder, I realized I had the ladder against the wrong wall. I uh, 
uh, I was successful in in corporate America, but my uh, my home life wasn't wasn't the best. Uh, with in corporate America, I did uh, acquisitions in Europe. I moved some plants. I uh, was a business manager. Those fl uh, flashing lights that you see that go over at night, that was my uh, my department. I had about 60 folks working for me, assembling those at one point in time. But uh, I couldn't make ends meet. Uh, I just uh, was struggling. I was living in a two-bedroom apartment at that point in time. And if things didn't change, I was going to retire poor uh, like my aunt and uncle. My aunt and uncle worked all their life. And uh, when they retired, they were in poverty level. And that was one of the trigger mechanisms for me to start looking for other avenues. What, how could I change my life from being in corporate America? And so uh, I had this old beat up car and I needed to put some uh, repair work into it. But um, I put that on the back burner. And then one night on a first date, uh, my car paid me back. I pulled up in front of the apartment complex and walked at the end of our date and started to walk this lady up to the door. And I heard something. I turned around and looked and my car had burst into flames. Now, when I speak live, I'll have some guys in the back row, you know, hot date, you know, it's more like <laughs> first and last date. And every morning when she woke up to remember that day, it was a burnt chard mark in the parking lot. And so just really embarrassing. And I didn't know what to do. But that was another catalyst for me on, on trying to get in to do something else. So what I did was I looked into franchises and they take uh, they take money. I couldn't do that. Uh, I did decide to invest. So I took my whole federal tax return that year and I plunked it down on Ohio lottery tickets. And you're right. I lost on every ticket. Kept me broke. Kept me frustrated. Uh, not knowing what, what avenue to take at that point in time. And one night I couldn't sleep. And at two o'clock in the morning, I got up. And I turned on the TV and I started to channel surf. And I hit one of these real estate infomercials and it got my attention. And I, uh, I thought, you know, maybe I could do this. And I picked up the phone at two in the morning and I ordered that home study system and I became enthralled with real estate. And that year I bought my first two properties, the next year five, following year 18. Since that point in time, I've done hundreds of real estate deals. And part of the deals I do are without monthly payments. Would it be okay with you if I teach you how to do deals today? and not have to worry about monthly payments, I would think you'd really like that. Well, the way I got started with private lenders is I heard this thing about hard money lenders and private lenders as I'm coming up through my real estate education. I thought they were the same. I thought they were interchangeable terms. But after a while, I realized that a hard money lender sets the rules like a bank sets the rules, okay? And I assume most of you are going to banks or using hard money. So I realized though, that there was another avenue, which was called private money. And I finally figured it out. And so I went to mom and I said, look, you're getting a poultry little rate of return on a bank certificate of deposit. You see mom come into some money when dad passed away. And she did what most people do. They, uh, She took it down and put it on a bank certificate of deposit. And she would drive 45 minutes one way just to get a few pennies more on that CD. And she's actually pretty excited about doing that because dad had been taking care of the finances. And, and this was my mom's first way and opportunity to do that. Well, I sit down with mom at her house and I said, you know, you're getting a poultry low rate of return on a bank CD. I can pay you three, four five times what you're getting on a bank CD. I'll pay you simple interest only. I'll give you a mortgage, a promissory note, it has insurance, lender title insurance and a disclosure, those five things. And she jumped for joy. She jumped for joy. And then I got another lender and uh, I sat at his kitchen table one night and I'm a little bit embarrassed to tell you, I couldn't answer all of his questions. And of course I was new at it and he understood and he, he loaned me money. And in time, uh, his wife and his son also loaned me money. So I, I started to grow private lenders after a while. Now, financing I've tried. I had a sign there that said something about questions. I want you to Put your questions in the chat box and we'll answer them here at the end. But I'm going to get through all this ahead of time so I get a good foundation on, on my training. So I started out up there with banks like maybe many of you. But one day the regulators came in and looked at the bank's books and said, you can't do those type of loans anymore. And that shut my business down. And not only me, I was in a real estate investment group and it shut all those folks down too. All within 24 hours, I had hit the wall. And so I moved came over to a line of credit, you max that up, up 
you're done on that. And every year they can call that thing due. And so I, I started working with hard money lenders and whoo, they're expensive. I think I did eight and I don't know, eight weeks. Um, and uh, wow. And I see, see, you see over there, I got creative financing. You say, well, Alan, we all do that. Why did you put this on this chart? Well, because if you go out and uh, think you got a deal and you don't because you're dealing with a bank, a line of credit, or a hard money lender, and you got to walk, you have lost a lot of money and a deal. I never want you to lose a deal after meeting we, me today. You see, when when you get to creative financing, you better be able to take that deal down or you fail. How do you how do you solve that problem? Private money. You are not in control of your financing. If if you're doing with money with trying to get money from a bank, lines of credit, hard money lenders, or or doing creative financing with those three items there, you're not in control. I want to put you in control for the first time in your life. Now let's take a look here at some of the stuff you're putting going yourself through. Being at the mercy of banks, you can lose some of the best deals because somebody comes along and buys it out from underneath you. You got to have money down. Maybe that's a showstopper for you right there. I told you already, I only, I don't even put one penny in my deals. They charge points and loan fees. Private lenders don't do that. They won't finance some unusual deals. You, you got monthly payments there. I told you I, uh, I can do deals without monthly payments if I so desire. They take time. I wanted to buy a duplex. And, uh, uh, place appraised okay and it was okay and they uh, but it didn't have a furnace and it took the bank four and a half months to say yes on that I could have lost the deal today I can get an offer accepted on a Monday I can own the property on a Friday same week you got no relationship with the bank but you think you do you're lulled into a sense of security because you've got somebody's name and their business card and I'm here to tell you they got air you got nothing because they can quit retire get laid off start all over again uh, and you're stuck Okay. And then they change the rules like they did on me. You are disqualified from borrowing when you have too many properties. I had four properties and the bank shut me down. It had nothing to do with me or my credit. It had to do that their internal rules would only allow four deals. And it happened to me again. In fact, there's been three times when I got shut down. I'll tell you the third one here in a minute. You got poor credit. They aren't going to touch you. Bank, the income doesn't satisfy the bank. They aren't going to touch you. And when you leave your job, the bank will leave you. How do I know that one? Well, the company had a layoff. And on that layoff, they, uh, uh, I, I volunteered. I went in and I said, I want to I be, uh, uh, you know, let go. And uh, they, let me, they let me go. And uh, the first thing that happened is the bank quit me. This is a bank I've been with for years. And I thought they'd be there for me. And they weren't. And they weren't. Uh, so what I did was I had uh, two meetings. I had a little bit of training on, you know, with mom and, and with Ed, the other person that loaned me money. And what happened was um, I called these two meetings. The first meeting, I had 18 folks in it and uh, got up in front of them and told them about my dreams and my aspirations. And then I uh, asked them to loan me money and it worked and it worked. And then I did it again the next month, I had about 15 folks, did it all over again. It worked again. And uh, a couple of months later, I had a million dollars to go buy property. And that, that launched me into really getting focused on private money. Now, here's what's, what's happened with you. If you're going to a bank, you got this kind of stuff. Credit checks, long applications, submitting paperwork, paying appraisal fees, ceilings on your income, nail biter timelines and losing deals. And this in banks and hard money lenders, long waits for approvals, high cost of, for interest, high closing costs, padded fees, having to follow their rules, balloon payments and origination compliance fees. You know, that stuff, that's what you put up with. And those days are over if you get private money because private money solves all that kind of stuff. Where you need private lenders? Well, on residential stuff, short sales, sweat equity, rehabs, wholesale, subject to. I got luxury homes on there where Tom is living, Carolina. Uh, they got luxury homes where I'm at. I don't have luxury, luxury homes, but you can use private money there too. And then on commercial, I got about 35 to 40% of my student base does commercial stuff. So motels, apartments, storage units, mobile home parks. Why this works? Well, I've got a step-by-step -step system and years of experience and development. The results from following a, a proven system gives you the edge on your competitors so that you can grow your business faster without tapping out your personal finances
It allows you to sidestep problems of maxing out your financial capabilities, losing out on deals, limiting your income, and stalling your success. You know, private money is so powerful for your life. Imagine what life would be like if you had a system for private money, which is what I developed. You were able to build a real estate empire and could consistently invest in properties and create reoccurring income. The one thing to know is you can get on the path of private money starting today, even if you're new to real estate investing, don't have any money of your own to get started. There are three things that you will learn about building a private money fortune. One, why private money strategies are essential for building and growing a successful real estate investment business. Two, the strategies available for you for getting private money. And three, how to automate getting private money like an ATM machine. How would you like to crank out money like that? Two things that changed everything for me was learning how to attract private lenders for my business and having an easy to duplicate repeatable process. And that is so critical. And that's what I created. Now, for example, I targeted folks out there with massive amounts of money to loan. And I ended up having so much money one time, I woke up and I had so much money, I couldn't spend it all. So what did I do? Well, I wanted to do uh, something with the money quickly so the people wouldn't leave. And so I hired a guy. Uh, he had worked in corporate America and uh, he got laid off and he uh, wanted to know a little bit more about real estate. He had started out with, uh, by buying a side-by-side -side double and he lived in one half and, and the renter lived in the other half. And then his, this, this guy's name's Kevin. And finally he um, got a house, ranch house on a hill and he's, he lives there now. But what happened was he was laid off and running out of money. And so uh, I said, let's have a meeting. And we had a meeting at a restaurant. He said, I'm in. He said, I want to, I want to do this. So from mid-September to Christmas, after I taught him how to get private money, we purchased 21 properties. And from New Year's to August, we purchased 48. That's 69 properties in less than a year spending my private money. It was when I tapped into 401k money when things exploded. And this is where you want to start writing some notes. Okay, this is the pot of gold of private money. When I started out, I told you that I, I borrowed money from my mom and Ed, and that was CD money, okay? But then along the way, I learned I learned more of other things to get money, like, you know, IRAs and things like that. But I hadn't thought about 401ks. And uh, when I tapped into that, the money kept flooding in more and more and more. And here's the deal. If you know someone that has quit, retired, or gotten laid off, quit, retired, or gotten laid off, and that's what you want to write down, those three things, quit, retired, or laid off, and they've left this 401k back in the company that they came from, they can roll that money over into a self-directed IRA, and then that person can loan the money to you once the money's in an IRA. So this is your target right here. Now, obviously, you can work with... Uh, uh, people with CDs, I love that. I'm going to talk more about that. But uh, when I tapped into this, the, the world changed. You convert it into self-directed IRA. And this is the one that you have no monthly payments. I told you I would talk to you about no monthly payments. Now, how does this work? Well, people with 401ks, they don't get monthly payments. The money is locked in and they, they want to make it grow. And so when it that when they're when they've quit, retired, or gotten laid off, and they roll this money over into a self-directed IRA. They're used to not getting pay payments with that money. And so what happens is, is they continue with that if you so desire. And I did because I, I buy, fix, sell, or I buy, fix, hold. And so buy, fix, sell, I, uh, I use that and it's gold. It's gold. Now it's a double-edged sword. I need to, some of you might've figured this out because interest is going up. And so around month 18 or 24, uh, you want to convert this to where it's starting to be amortized, starting to go back down, you know, if something happens, okay, to where you hold it. But normally what we're doing is buy, fix, and selling, okay, uh, for some of us. Other sources of private money, whole life policies. I imagine you never thought about it, but you can borrow money from somebody that's got a whole life policy. They'll have a an interest payment that they'll have to cover on that, but it's very small, and, that, and then you can get that money uh, to fund your deals. Inheritance. 
stocks, folks with cash in their checking account, and bank CDs like I talked about. I'm going to run through four steps of getting private money out there. Uh, the first one is community. That is attracting lenders, okay, like it says there. Connection, getting them to say yes. And close, getting the money to closing table and capital. That's when you get paid, which is what you care about. I'm going to walk you through each one of these here. And, uh, right, and, I'll, and I'll correlate this back from the banks and the hard money lenders where, like I said before, I assume that's where most of you are going. And the other side of it is what? People that you know and people that you don't know. I have to set them in, in different categories, okay? So there's some rules out there that you, you got to comply with. So people that you don't know, uh, there's some rules. And then people that you do know. Now, the one on the bottom there uh, is how I started out, okay? So what I'm, I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you the pros and cons on, on those three items, okay? So we started out with banks and hard money lenders. And over here, the advantage is they'll, they'll loan you money maybe, okay? So, and I put the word speed in there, but it's really, really slow a lot of times. So, um, you know, if you consider six weeks speed, then okay. Uh, on the disadvantage side, uh, requires perfect credit, could take longer, potential ceiling where they won't loan you money. Uh, tons of paperwork could be denied, uh, tarnish, might tarnish your reputation if you are denied. Uh, high interest rates and hidden cost, okay? So working with you, working with banks and hard money lend or lenders, the disadvantages outweigh the advantages, okay? And you know that, all right? Now, private money and hard money lenders are different. Like I said before, hard money lenders set the rules like a bank. Private lenders, we get to set the rules. What I want to highlight here is that I have seen over the last you know, four or five years that the terminology has changed with hard money lenders and they tend to be masking it by, by calling themselves private lenders. But here's the deal. If they are setting the rules, they are hard money lenders, okay? So uh, don't be misled by having somebody say they're private lenders and then you find out they give, give you a bunch of rules, okay? We're looking for an individual that doesn't set the rules and hands you money, okay? Now, let's talk about people that you don't know, strangers. There's advantages here. You get to make the rules. You buy property at a discount because cash is king. You don't need a job to qualify. And private lenders will bring you more private lenders. Whoa, what about that last one? One private lender will bring you two. Two will bring you four. Have you ever had a bank <laughs> bring you more banks? That doesn't happen. But private lenders will bring you more private lenders, which are which are banks, if you will. Disadvantages, not everybody's gonna say yes. Uh, there's some compliance rules, like I said, when you get to uh, people that you don't know. Uh, may take longer, you need a polished approach and a pitch, and you need uh, to establish your credibility with these folks. But what about people that you know? Look at the advantages. Private lenders will bring you more private lenders. You make the rules. You buy properties at a discount because cash is king, and you don't need a job to qualify. You can help family, friends, make money, and they you can do it at lightning speed. Like I said, I, I got a property on Monday and I can, I can own the property on Friday. Disadvantage, not everybody's going to say yes. Now look at that chart. You know, where should you start? You know, so, and I have other avenues if, if you're back on the uh, uh, people that you don't know side. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. Costly mistakes to avoid. Don't say the loan is guaranteed or low risk. I need to have you write that down. That would be misleading a, a private lender, and that's a no-no. Uh, so you don't want to write uh, guarantee. You want to write down guarantee, low risk, or or secure. Now you can say the word secure duh with a D, because the property is secured with a mortgage, a promissory note, hazard insurance, lender, title insurance. But if you say, well, I, I think it's going to be about eighty percent of the folks you run into, they're going to ask you, "Is my money secure?" And what I want you to do is say. We all know real estate is risky. So I can't say that your money is secure. Well, what I do is the same thing a bank does where you get a mortgage, a promissory note, has insurance lender, title insurance and disclosure, and there'll be a lien against the property. So if anything happens, then you'd have the right to get the property. So that's how you handle that. Okay, but never say that the loan is guaranteed, low risk or secure. Discourage people who want to visit your properties. They're vetting you. Uh, I like working with people that, 
just prefer to loan me money and don't worry about the properties. Now, some of them will want that and some will want to do that. Um, go, go drive by it. Um, you know, you can let them do that, but I would prefer to talk more about the high rate of return, which is what they're looking for anyhow. And pass up anyone wants to pay points and fees. That's a, that's a the hard money. The bottom line is uh, talking to people you know is the fastest, easiest way to get private money and you are in control. When you borrow from the right type of lender, you make the rules and things go smoothly. Anything else just isn't worth it. Now, let me talk to you about Gary Cassidy. When I uh, I met him, it was in an, e an evening meeting, like a meeting, you know, only it was live, you know, right now rather than Zoom. And he was broke, no job, $30,000 in debt. He was kind of interested in real estate, but he, he didn't know much about it. He came to the real estate training and I was teaching. Then the next day he drove to my office at eight o'clock. We don't open till nine. So he finally got a hold of my uh, office manager and uh, she uh, got him the system that he was looking for. He uh, quickly raised $5 million and then he raised another 2 million that he told me here a couple months ago and is doing a ton of real estate deals. And he's also now a RIA owner. My basic rules is lenders don't approve my purchases. Big money lenders don't get a higher rate of return and second mortgages don't get a higher rate of return. Let's get to step two, making a connection. I would suggest that you make a list of 20 people that you know, family, friends, and associates is what I call them. Family, friends, and who's an associate? Well, maybe your child's teacher, okay? Make a list. Uh, you could use a postcard campaign. You could have an audio. Now, I've got an audio that I created, and I have a radio talk show host, which makes it a very compelling audio. And so uh, just email it out. And then I've got printed materials. One of them is where there are 12 questions and answers in this document called a special report. And, and what happens with the audio and with this special report when they read that or listen to that, it moves them closer to loaning uh, my students money. And professional resume, which is a credibility kit. Um, what happened to me was I walked into a house and uh, it was a house I wanted to buy. And they were motivated. The husband and wife were motivated because she had a boyfriend. And so we sat down at the kitchen table. We talked a little bit and she said, uh, prove it. Prove that what you're saying that, uh, that you've done. Well, I went home, came back the next day, and by the time I got there, um, my competitor had bought the house. And so since that point in time, I had a credibility kit, and I think you should have one too. <clears throat> it builds trust. It puts your best foot forward. It presents you in, in the best light and shares information they don't know. It can help you save a deal. So I do a page on me and a page on the company. And one of the things that happens with us as real estate investors is we um, um, aren't, aren't able to communicate our education to the outside world very well. So what I did was I bought certificates at, at the office stores and put certificates in my credibility kit on, uh, on my education and training, and it was gold. Possible mistakes. Uh, don't talk about real estate deals. Talk about the high rate of return they're going to get. Don't have a different approach for each lend lender. Obviously, have a system, like I told you, right off the bat, step by step. And don't have unclear, unclear terms for the deal. Be, be crystal clear. The bottom line is having a clear plan and start with the easiest method first. So the easiest method that I would recommend is working with family, friends, and associates, okay? But you can also work with strangers, and we'll talk about that in a little bit later. Step three, you can invite them to a Zoom meeting or a one-on-one -on -one meeting where you meet at a restaurant. Where I don't like to do is, um, unless it's mom or family, um, I don't like to meet them at their home because of distractions, dog jumping on you, somebody coming to the doors, things like that. So I prefer to get them to a restaurant or something. Um, the one that made me a million dollars was was a luncheon. Okay, and we'll talk about that in a second. I give them a packet of information. And in that packet is a, uh, one of the items is not what I call an interest form. It's not what interest I'm paying, it's whether they are interested or not. And it's uh, blank on one side and the other side has some information on who they are and if they got any questions. And then at the bottom, I put in there different amounts of money, stair stacking up over time and uh, with a check mark, all right? And they just check which one they want. It works like gold. 
Um, and one of the, when I get ready to ask them if they want to loan me money, I use this last line here. I said, are you ready to get involved? And that really works well. And you ought to write that down. Are you ready to get involved? Okay, and see what they say. Costly mistakes to avoid. Don't take a check personally. I had a lady come into my office, hand me a $110,000 check. If I would have taken that check, it was unsecured. I want these, I want the funding to be secured. And I want to, I want to make sure that it goes to a closing. Okay. And you do too. Uh, don't be pushy. I know some of you might be excited about this. And you want to uh, be aggressive maybe or pushy with, with folks. I don't do that. I just tell them the way it is and let the chips fall where they may. Don't mix up the order of your marketing. Okay. So I've got it step by step and don't neglect to get the money. Okay. Um, what I mean by that, some people might be so shy. Um, actually my sister, uh, she might, she might feel uncomfortable on asking for money, but what I do is I just say, are you ready to get involved and see where they go from there? So don't miss that step. The bottom line in less than one hour, you can obtain millions of dollars of private funds without using your own money, having good credit, or even having a job. The fourth step is the closing. Um, when somebody says yes, let's, I'll give you an example, and you might want to jot this down real quick. If somebody says, I want to loan you a quarter million dollars, what I do instantly is I say, well, if I find a deal worth a half a million, should I call you? I double it. I double it, okay? If they say I'll uh, loan you a million, million, I would say, well, if I find a deal worth two million, sh should I call you? And many times they will say yes, and just like that, you double your money. As soon as they give me another, whether it's the, the quarter million or the half million, whatever it is that we end up with, I instantly say, congratulations, you've made a wise decision because these people could be a little shaky if they made a, uh, a good, good idea, a good uh, option and good decision. Uh, they just, I want them to feel comfortable. And that seems to calm them down a little bit. And then I instantly set the closing. I say, well, we'll close in the next four to six weeks. I need to, you don't make the money out to the uh, check out to me. I'll tell you where to send it in and we'll we'll close and we'll go from there. I give them a mortgage, a promissory note, has insurance, lender and owner title insurance and a disclosure statement, okay? Costing them mistakes to avoid, don't ask them to sign any forms. Um, I have noticed early on with some of my students, uh, in fact, many of them would ask me this, what forms do we have them? Once they say they're gonna loan me money, what forms do we, uh, do we use? You don't, you don't. Uh, listen, if it's people with bank uh, CDs, you're going to get them 99% of the times. If it's somebody with a 401k that they roll it over into a self-directed IRA, you're going to get it about 85% of the time. So uh, the odds are way in your favor, okay? Um, now, when they roll this money over into a self-directed IRA, there's transfer fees. And what happens is, is most of the people know that's just doing business. Other people might not know that. And so they would get a hold of me uh, being shocked that maybe there's a $250 fee and they'll say, oh, there's a fee. As soon as they say that, I will say, I'll take care of it. So I pay the 250 and that really builds a lot of goodwill, a lot of goodwill. Uh, don't fail to follow up 60% of your money, 60% of your private money is in the follow-up. And what I, what I do is I talk to somebody. I say, are you ready to get involved? They, they might say, I, I want to think about it. I give them a special report I, uh, and the audio. And then what I do, and you want to write this down between seven days and 10 days, you need to pick up that phone. I know it'll be a little bit heavy, but you pick up the phone, you call them up and you say, hey, uh, do you have any questions? That's the way I break the ice starting out. And then... Uh, talk to them for a little bit. If they say, I want to think about it again, I never go back to them. I let them come to me. I had a guy come back to me a year and a half later. So, um, but that's your follow-up. It's a numbers game. You need to move on from this person to this person, to this person, to this person, not chase one person, even though this person might have a, you know, a million dollars and you're chasing this person, you follow my plan and you just move on and move on. And you don't touch unsecured money. I've already said that uh, a little bit ago. The bottom line is you get paid at closing. Now, one of the things um, I want to point out is that you have your funding out of order and you don't know it. 
Um, and I don't know if anybody else is teaching this, but this was really a, a shock when I realized this. What happens is, is we get trained. We get trained. You're getting trained right now. So we, you know, and that's the foundation of business is education. So we get trained. And then the next thing you do is you go out and, and you make offers. And in fact, you're even told if you're in a RIA group, you're, you're told, hey, go make offers, go make offers, go make offers. And then you shop it, you shop it around and then uh, you're, you got to fund it. So then you got to find the money. Okay. So after this offer. So here's what you do. You get an education, you make offers, and then you hunt for funding. Okay. That's not what a plumber does. That's what, not what an attorney does. That's not what other businesses do. Here's what they do. They get an education. They get funding like a doctor so they can open up their office and get their, uh, you know, doctor equipment, computers and things like that. And then they open up for business. That is a normal way to do business. You don't do that. You do this. And that's why this business is more painful for you. And if you think about this a little bit tonight, you'll, you, you, it'll really open your eyes. Look, there's four steps to private money, you, community, where you attract lenders, connection, where you get to the yes, you close, you get to the closing table, and then you get paid. The only difference between struggling real estate investors and rich, successful ones is a repeatable plug-and-play system that works to provide all the financing they need with terms and cost the real estate investor can control. And that's what private money does. This is a step-by-step -step system, as I said here a few times. The program I created isn't a bunch of theoretical or how-to information. You have to try to figure it out on how do you apply it on your own. It is a step-by-step -step system, go at your own pace program that works whether you are brand new or you've been doing real estate for years. These are tried and true strategies, which have made millions to a half a billion dollars for myself and my students in as little as 24 hours. I'll talk more about this uh, toward the end, but uh, over the years, when I started having live events, um, my students uh, with my training uh, would amass money in the first 24 hours. There, I, I don't think there's anybody else on planet Earth doing that. And uh, over the years, it's, it's over half a billion. We're creeping up on a billion dollars. If you only get one thing from this training, being able to secure private money is a game changer that will protect you and grow your business quickly. Three takeaways. Number one is you can be as successful as you want buying real estate without having to use your own money, even if you don't have a great credit or a job. And that's important to some of you out there. Number two, without having to work yourself to the bone, take on risky and expensive loans, make embarrassing mistakes or look foolish. And number three, whatever you want is possible, but it requires knowing how to do all of the things I showed you and doing them better than your competitors. Big question is how much money do you need to do a deal? Not a penny. Once you learn how, whenever you need more money to buy a property, you just plug in the system and money comes out. Landlords, I'm a landlord. I'll be a landlord all my life. But what I do is I buy with private money and fix with private money. Why? Because I can beat the pants off of my, my competition so I don't lose a deal. Then I rent, rent it, refi, and do it again and again and again. I create an empire like this. You got three steps to finding private money, generating leads, send information to them or invite them to a Zoom or a luncheon, live luncheon, and they pass their play. And I'm going to go through these right now on generating leads. I found 16 ways that you can attract private money. That's a lot, isn't it? You probably thought there's two or three. There's a bunch. And here's some of them, ads and postcards. Okay. Um, I send out this postcard. Uh, it's a lady. Her name's Elizabeth and she's a widow. And she's got her money on a bank certificate of deposit, and uh, she's struggling. And so on this on this postcard, it it invites her to. Uh, eat. I could do it different ways. I could have her come to you know Zoom, or I could have her do a one on one meet her in a restaurant, or or I could have her come to a group meeting live. Okay, and so um, this is very compelling postcard. And then when the when the calls come in, I they go to a voice mailbox. I've had a 24-7 live answering service handle it too in the past. I don't even take the calls. I call the potential lender back all at one time. So I let things come in during the day. And then uh, sometime around dinner time, I'll call them up. And then if they say yes, then um, 
I give them directions or a login. And if they will include family or friends, why do I like Zoom? Well, just like what we're doing right now, it's it's easy to talk to a lot of people at once. And in fact, Gary uh, Cassidy that I showed you earlier, um, he on Zoom had 150 folks show up. That's huge. Uh, he's looking for private money. Uh, it's quick and simple, and I can leverage my time by talking to everybody at once, okay? Uh, you can do one-on-ones, you can do a group meeting, however you want. In fact, you might want to start out with just one-on-ones on Zoom to get the practice and see if you can get money. Why I like live group meetings, though? You get an added benefit. It's a more intimate setting. Conversion rate is better uh, because they get peer confirmation. Here's what happens is, is you talk first and eat second. Don't, don't nuts up my, my plan here. Talk first, eat second. And so you move them to tables to eat. And they're sitting across somebody they want to carry on a conversation. And what happens is they're looking for peer confirmation. Listen to me. Peer confirmation on what you just talked about is, is good. And in every event I have had, the conversion rate goes through the roof. Goes through the roof. So you talk first, eat second. And then while they're sitting there, what I do is I mingle, go around the tables. I don't sit down for a while. But uh, what they're doing, and I can hear them, is they're talking about what they just heard. And the conversion rate ends up being huge, being huge. How many of you would feel with a system like this, you could get up and speak to a small group of people? I would think all of you. Maybe you're afraid of public speaking. I was. I wasn't, I wasn't meant to be a speaker way back when. Just do a one-on-one -on -one meeting. And my students are amassing millions. How did I start out? With mom and with Ed, with one-on-ones. Okay? Face-to-face. -face. Didn't have Zoom back then. Understand some of you might be anxious on talking to somebody about getting money. So rather than talking to them, why don't you just send them a, an audio and ask them to listen to it or, you know, a special report, you know. You know, I'm not meant to be a speaker, like I said, but I've raised millions of dollars. Why? Because the system I developed works so well. It's just on autopilot. It's like you just read the words and the words work their magic and does it. Or you could hand out that special report. Now, let me tell you about that real quick. If I took a, a hundred people and I asked them, what is your question about private money? Um, the top 10, 12 questions bubbled, would bubble to the top. And those are the 12 questions that I have in this special report. So, so when I email that out, people go on in, they look at the table of contents, they go to that, that page or that paragraph and they get an answer. And they they might not be interested about all 12, but they, they get the one that they care about taken care of. And then down here at the bottom, hand out the audio, email it. Uh, I had a pro professionally produced, like I said, radio talk show host, very compelling voice. And it moves people, that in the special report, to loan them money. And it does the work for you. Okay. Location, location, location. If I'm doing a one-on-one -on -one meeting, uh, like I said before, I don't want to do it at, uh, at somebody's house unless it's family. Um, I'd rather have a a restaurant, or if you got a meeting room, or if you got you know an office, uh, go there. Uh, so it makes it makes it you know so you can focus you know. And I would have a PowerPoint slide presentation like I've got right here. And then on a group meeting, uh, you know you don't want to have karaoke going on next door. How do I know that one? Been there, done that. So you know you want to be quiet so you can focus for a while. Who are uh, not your prospects? Well, people want to visit your property before they will lend. I've talked to you about that, okay? I have found over the years that they are vetting you, and uh, it makes it a lot easier if you focus on the money, okay? People want points and loan fees. We talked about that, okay? People can, who can't follow up on a decision ma they make. So somebody says, I'm going to loan you money, and then they don't. Now, who's that going to be? I've already told you. It's going to be somebody saying that they've got a, a dormant 401k and we want to roll it over to into a self-directed IRA. Okay. Um, I use equity trust as my IRA company. I'm not here to promote them. I'm just telling you who I do business with. Um, and so uh, people that uh, uh, when you go back to them, what I do in those seven to 10 days is I'll get a hold of them again. Right. Remember I told you about following up 60% of your money come from follow-up. And if they say, and if they haven't moved, if they haven't done anything, I don't go back to them. I let them come to me from that on. And then people that can't make a decision. You go to Aunt Gertrude and she says, let me think about it. And you go again to her next time. Let me think about it. 
don't waste all your time going to somebody that you're never going to get a dime out of. Who are, are your prospects? People, people, not lending institutions, not hard money lenders or or even people that are, are charging points. That's a no-no. Minimum, this is your homework. I want you to, you know, for this group, it'll be all over the map. You all have different amounts, but uh, uh, you need a minimum loan out there. Uh, and then primarily, it, I found out, you think it's going to be millionaires. It's primarily middle class. Now, have I had millionaires? Yes. Okay. Uh, but primarily, the bulk of it is is middle class. And I suspect you will, too. Your posture is some will, so what? So what? Some won't, so what? Someone's waiting. Some will, some won't, so what? Someone's waiting. I practice this. If we were live, we would practice this. Um, what am I saying here? Okay. Some will, some won't. So follow my rules on seven to 10 days and then don't go back if they want to think about it. And someone's waiting. Move on, move on, move on. Don't beg, don't plead, don't even ask twice. Just tell them you they could get a high rate of return and move on. Huge tip. When you borrow from the right type of lender, you make the rules and things go smoothly. Anything else just isn't worth it. You need to borrow extra. This will blow you away. What I learned years ago is when I borrow money from a private lender, okay, and they send that money into closing, I could put some money in my prop pocket on the day to buy. Now, typically with you and me years and years ago, I would get paid at the end, not up front. I would get paid when I closed or uh, to, to sell or uh, with, you know, rent payments over time. Get some of your profit when you buy. What happens is there's four parts of a uh, a closing is, you know, number one is you got to pay for the property. Number two is you got closing costs. Number three is you got rehab money. So you have those dollars going into closing. What I do is I have a, a an extra one, which is money for Alan's pocket. Okay. Out of those, those three, I had a fourth one. And so I get money out of every closing the day I buy. Now, uh, you might ask me, well, was it a percentage or what? No, I just make up how much it is. And sometimes it's it's not a lot, and sometimes it, it is, uh, but it sure feels better taking money out of, of closing, okay? And another thing, too, could you have a problem with the rehab? Wouldn't it be better to have that money in your pocket rather than go beg for money again, you know, if you have a problem on a rehab? You know, the best benefit is you can do more deals and more profitable deals using private lenders. Forget banks. How'd you like to do deals and never walk across the carpet again? You are providing an opportunity that is amazing to get folks the money the bank won't give them. In fact, here's an example. Banks charge you 29% interest on your credit card, and then they give you 0029 on CDs, one hundredth of the 29%. Now, on that 0029, you're saying, well, Alan, you know, things are up around 4.5% now. Okay, but exactly this time last year, it was 0085. Hundred thousand dollar loan, double O eighty five. That that means that person was only getting eight hundred fifty bucks in interest for a year. That's sick. You know, you can come out and give somebody you know five, six, seven, eight, nine percent interest, and they get a lot more money because you got to you got to float with what the interest is. Okay, all right. So, what are folks' options out there? Well, let's take a look at bank CDs going. Average rate right now that I took a look at here within the last weeks about four and a half percent. Some are lower, some are down at three. You know, some are a little higher. So that's four thousand five hundred dollars a year on a hundred thousand dollar loan. What about the stock market? Well, that's how it worked for me. Didn't work very well. Or my favorite way to get money one time at one time was this. Didn't work out very well for me there. But what about real estate? 100,000 at 8%, that's $8,000 a year. $8,000 a year, nearly double of the 4.5%, right? The issue is this. They don't know about, about you. They know about CD, stock market, or like I did, the lottery. But they don't know how to get money and invest with you for high rates of return. And that's why my marketing is so important. And, and the, the steps that I want my students to take so that they can attract and convert people into money. How I calculate uh, what percent to pay, I'll be real quick with this, okay? I might take a screenshot, is go to your local bank and find out what the current bank 
certificate of deposit is. They got different years on how long you hold money in there. Go to the one year, go to the one year CD, and all you have to do is add 3% above what the your bank is offering uh, or a little more and offer that to your private lender and you'll get flooded with money. Three, uh, three options that you can give private lenders. One option based on today's market of four and a half percent, amortize a loan where the loan is, is going down over time. So your big apartment complexes and uh, storage units, okay, that's what you'd use there. How I paid my mom, simple interest only, which means that the principal never goes down. I keep up with the interest by paying it every single month, okay? And then option three, let the interest accrue and they get paid when I get paid, which is when I sell the property. This is that one I told you about before, that with 401ks, the, the person didn't get um, monthly payments. So we could use that money without any monthly payments and then, uh, and, you know, buy, fix, sell, and not have to worry about those uh, monthly payments. Just pay it all at the end. Would you like the ability to make offers with confidence? I think you would say yes. That's the thing about private money. In fact, you are never 100% sure if you're going to a bank or hard money lender, if you're going to get a loan, yes or yes. But with private lenders, if somebody says, I'm going to loan you money, and then they don't, what do you do? You just call up the next person or call up the next person, and then you're going to have somebody. Think about the good you're doing. It is about helping all the folks that couldn't get a decent yield on their own money. You know, they're worried about, can they afford food right now? Uh, they don't want to be a Walmart greeter. Uh, and they want to stay retired. Look, you're not taking advantage of anybody. Okay. Let me, let me give you an example here. This is a fictitious person, Aunt Mary, but there's a few thousand, if not millions out there. Uh, she saved all her life and she, she amassed a, a half a million dollars. Current CD rate, 4% in, in, it comes to $20,000 a year. Okay. Plus she's got her social security. Now you come along and give her 70%. And now she's getting 35% and you're getting a better deal because you can go out and buy property. Okay. Now, wouldn't rather than her having $20,000, wouldn't she rather have $35,000? You would make her a year. Would you feel good helping others like uh, Aunt Mary? I would think so. Hey, one of my students, Clarity Richardson out of Dallas. He said, after hearing the information yesterday, I made a phone call of, of calls. Each of them said, he had three. Each of them said they put down for each of the houses, which totaled up to one million one hundred twenty-five thousand. So that's how much money you got on three different properties to fund three different properties. There are several ways to get money: banks, traditional way, going to bank. Another way is like my mom had her checkbook. Then there's other ways that people can lend money as well, and that's with IRAs. So I'd like I'd like to talk a little bit about IRAs here. This is a the greatest source of private funds. A lot of my lenders have IRAs. And you can triple your return. You can't lend to your self charter parents, so you need to know that. I, I'm surprised a lot of people don't know that. I get answers or questions on that a lot. So you can't lend up and down the family chain, but you can brother and sister. And you can lend out at whatever interest rate you want to. You are creating your own private bank, if you didn't know it. How would you like to have your own private bank with private money lenders out there? Here's what the Wall Street Journal said. Through a little-known tool known as a self-directed individual retirement account, individuals can pursue a wide variety of investments from real estate to businesses. Now at least several thousand people are trying to goose their retirement savings by using self-directed IRAs to invest in mortgages. Typically, IRA investors aren't looking to back 30-year conventional mortgages. More often, they're making loans with terms lasting from three months to a few years to fixer-uppers, small-scale developers, or families who are locating, relocating and need a bridge loan between home sales. They normally find borrowers through an informal network of real estate agent, mortgage brokers, or Alan Calvo. Okay, I made the last part up, but you get the idea, okay? So you, that's the last one is you, investors. I got a 90-day rule. I just want to share with you a rule of thumb that I came up with. If I borrow money from someone and I only have that money for three weeks and then pay them back, they aren't very excited about three days or three weeks of interest. So what I did was I came up with an Alan's rule of thumb. Um, it's 90 days. So I pay them whatever I agreed to going in. Okay, let's say it's 7%. I would I would cut a check for 90 days interest, you know? It doesn't hurt you. Uh, it builds goodwill. And they wish you would loan, loan more money and sell property quicker anyhow so they can get that, that interest. 
Look, whether you're whether you're a beginner seasoned investor, how many of you think acquiring private lenders could help your business? If we were in a room by ourselves, 100 folks, I would have 85% of the room raising their hand. Seasoned investors, you can imagine the wealth building opportunities that you've lost over the years because you failed to get private lenders. Let me ask you a question. How many deals are you going to let slip through your fingers, lose altogether, because you failed to get private lenders after today? I'm hoping you say none. Hey, Jim Bryant out of Louisville. He said it's pretty much a roadmap on how to raise capital from private in, uh, investors. Alan's course lays it out in a systematic manner, nothing left to the imagination. You just follow his roadmap. And in a 24-hour period, $855,000 was committed from only three phone calls. How would you like to have nearly a million dollars after just making, picking up the phone three times? That's what Jim did. Let me give you 17 ways that private lenders are good for you, okay? Why you should embrace what I'm teaching you right now. The best is it puts you in control of your financing. You know you are not in control if you're dealing, dealing with a bank and, and a hard money lender, okay? That's just a given. But in this case, and you know what? This is this is easy. You can do this stuff. You can you can do this. And and I I I have birthed a lot of millionaires out there. It fits with all types of real estate deals. You have no monthly payments if you so desire. You're in control. You do deals that banks and hard money lenders will refuse, and you can do the deal and win. It's not a lot of work. Not a lot of work. You learn my techniques one time and you use it for a lifetime. Your funds show up with just a phone call. You have an army of lenders begging you to take their money, and you are no longer begging for money after today. It's the cheapest because you avoid hard money lender fees. You avoid the padded fees that you get sick on. You buy property at a discount because cash is king, and you'll be able to close deals because the most expensive funding you will ever, ever have is when you have to walk away and you can't close. It's the safest because you quit your job. You can still get funding like I did. You got poor credit, you can still get funding. They don't even ask about your credit, okay? In fact, it's the first thing a bank or hard money lender asks. It's one thing that is never asked with a private lender. And if it is, you just say, I'll pass. You can borrow extra and put money in your pocket on the day you close. And you can avoid the embarrassment of losing great deals because you can't close. Best, easiest, cheapest, and safest way to fund your real estate deals. There is no other funding source that can match all four of these. I just gave you 17 solid reasons for you to embrace getting private lenders. Having private money puts you in control of your funding for the first time in your life. It's easy. It's easy when you know how. You are dealing with folks. You will be surprised how easy it is. You're dealing with folks that have money which can lend to other opportunities that you never dreamed of. I owned 45 oil wells, pieces of oil wells, 45 oil wells. Uh, real estate's better, okay? <laughs> Question for you. If I modeled every step of this system for you, showed you how to find lenders, showed you how to present to them, and showed you how to structure the deal every step of the way, do you think this would work for you? I would think you'd say yes. One more question. How many of you are feeling a little overwhelmed and aren't sure about exactly how to do all this? Well, you got two choices. Choice number one over there is you could wing it. You could do it yourself. My biggest concern is the bottom line there where you won't uh, cross the finish line. You know, you try to figure it out for yourself. You spin your wheels. You waste your time. It's slow growth, if any. And you make, uh, and more important, you make expensive mistakes, okay, because you don't know the, the training. Or... You, you can fast track, your, fast track your success with a proven system. You can do this. This is the right choice. The biggest question is, can you apply this method to how you apply it? Then? Direct your real estate efforts, tap into opportunities of unlimited financial power and grow, growth to drive consistent profits. And regardless of what you uh, now do or when you get started. Let me talk about Robert. Robert was broke. You talk about broke. This guy's broke, broke. He's retired and he's $53,000 in debt. Um, he, uh, he wanted to buy an apartment complex, but he couldn't even afford the closing costs before he invested in my program. And using my program, he found a private lender 
And then he found an apartment complex. They wanted $2.3 million out there for this. He offered him 1.8, took a half a million off. That's pretty gutsy for a broke guy. Yeah, but they took it. They took it. He said, I couldn't have done this deal with that island system. On my first deal, I walked away with a profit of $1.2 million. Is that an awesome thing? A broke guy, 53000 in debt, retired. And then he goes and pockets $1.2 million. Wouldn't you like the same results as John? Remember, he was $2.9 million. Showed you him early on there. And then Robert here. Look, you showed up for a reason. You know, and the reason I would think was to get rid of all this junk that banks and hard money lenders throw at you. I just put this big thing together to illustrate all the pain that you're going through. Now, obviously, you aren't doing all this on one deal, but over time, you know, there's a much better, easier way to get more money faster, easier, and put your funding in order. You know, I've shown you the success path for my students and myself. Now, I want to quickly give you a bird's eye view of the system that's available and what you're going to learn. This is my millionaire system. This is my millionaire system. Now, <clears throat> look at the big box on the bottom left-hand side where it says premium system. That is the one that I'm known for in the industry. That premium system shows you how to attract, listen to me, how to attract and convert people into private money as private money lenders and do it safely and do it safely. So that is a powerful, powerful system. Now behind that, You've got the wealth management system. On the wealth management system, that is how to manage lenders. So with my business is I attract lenders, I convert lenders, I manage lenders, and then I do it safely because I've got I've got some, uh, I'm not an attorney, I don't give legal advice, but I, I know the rules. Now, that's two legs. Let me give you a third leg. Over on the right-hand side, there's 24 audios. I've got 24 audios with the millionaire system that are awesome, that are awesome. Um, and then in the middle, that small little box where it says customizable marketing tool, what that is, is, is where the, the forms are at, okay? And uh, they are incredible. They're incredible. I'll talk more about that. And so you can see here, I've got a lot of other items that, that complement my millionaire system, okay? So there are little bits and pieces that uh, fit right into my program, all right? So who this works for? Brand new real estate investors, seasoned real estate investors, landlords, commercial building managers, and flippers. Let's meet Alan Ro uh, Mosley, Moser. He, Thank you for your program on private money funding. It made me a millionaire at 30, and today at 33, I'm a multimillionaire. And look at that nice letter that he wrote me over there, okay? That's awesome. Done great. Let me show you the 12 powerful bonuses I created. I had a picture of them there just a second ago, but let's go through them uh, to help you on your path to success. One of the items that I have is where I've got a million, listen to this, over a million warm private lenders that are loaning money. A million throughout the United States. This is updated monthly. So we scrape the whole United States. We sift and sort the information and put it into our website and you can go out to that website and contact private lenders. In fact, we all already have the letters made that you can send. Plus uh, a company will, will send the letter out for you if you don't want to do it. So uh, incredible, incredible opportunity. So you want private lenders? Uh, this is a, a great way to go. Um, encourages uh, private lenders to loan you money. This is that special report that I've said over and over again, okay? Um, it, it's it's gold. It's gold. You hand that out to the lender, and the next thing you know, they call you up and want to loan you money. And then what do you do? You up the ante, up the ante on everyone. This is the missing link in real estate for real estate investors because you don't know how to share your education and training until you get a credibility kit. I have page on me, page on the company. I have a lot of stuff about, you know, things in, in the property, uh, testimonials that people have given me. But the gold on this, from what I found, is go out to an office store, store get the certificate paper, and put it in there. Um, so my point is on, on showing you this, since it's a bonus, 
um, I show you the template on how to put this thing together, all right? And then on this customizable forms tool, you, you go out to a website I send you to, and you fill out the information on how much, you know, how they can get a hold of you, your email, uh, your, your phone, and uh, at what percent you want to pay. You hit the enter button, and all key 24 forms are filled out with your information, and you are ready to go find private lenders. This is gold. My students love this. Think about it. Uh, let's just take my 37 slides that I got a million dollars. Those two luncheons that, that I had. And all my students now use this, the same 37 slides. Um, let's say you have um, in there uh, 7% 20 times. You'd have to go on the 37 pages. You'd have to go in there and look for to change that one item in there. And there's other items that need to be changed. All you do here is fill out a template, hit the enter button, and they're all populated and you're ready to go find private lenders. Is that cool or what? Oh, and then the other thing too, on these 24 forms, that's not all that's in there. I have a, a, a bank of, for, of forms in there and it is targeted to your state. So when you put in your information, it'll ask, ask for your state. And so if there are any key forms that, that uh, need to be handled in your state, uh, then those come up too. Okay, now they, they wouldn't be the ones filled out, but they're they're ones that you might not know to go, you know, use. So, you know, John Fisher, he recognized how powerful that was. So he said, you did a marvelous job on doing the mass media coordination. That's where a lot of people in real estate media distribution fall apart. They're not able to piece together, together things, but the customizable form tool does it for you. You just fill it in the blank to populate. And all of a sudden there are 24 forms that are all right there and ready. I've got a 90-day uh, hotline in the front of the uh, pocket of the premium system that I showed you early on. Uh, there is a certificate. Uh, it is good for any time you want to trigger it, uh, but it's limited to the folks that need to get my system today, the millionaire system today. So if you don't get it today, then this is off. off Because I spend a lot of time and effort with my students, and I love my students. Um, I just don't want to work with people that take action, okay? I don't want you to procrastinate. I don't want you to pull the trigger on this. There are 12 uh, bonuses. I've just went through the ones that are marked red in there. So the other seven is, is a legal matrix that I created. It took me two and a half years to have birth on that. A live investor video, uh, audio business card, uh, 500 attorney list, behind the scenes event planner, uh, pitfalls and costly mistakes guide. And down at the very bottom there, it says what? Free lifetime upgrades. All this adds up uh, to $10,364 a la carte, okay? But let's go to this free upgrade. What, what do I mean by that? I'll tell you what. I'm sitting right – I got two offices in my house. I'm sitting in one of the offices, and I built shelves. And on these shelves, home study systems, okay? I had to have two tiers on the shelves, okay? And I have never, ever, ever have another speaker – send me an upgrade to their system. And you think about it. Have you ever got any? Well, I'll tell you what. One of the things I did when I got into, uh, you know, selling my, my home study system, I thought, you know, I want to treat people the way I want to be treated. If I have a, uh, an upgrade, a change, I will, I will give them an upgrade for free. Uh, just two weeks ago, I had a guy that has been with me since 2006. And uh, I said, hey, we were talking and he had a question. I said, hey, you're here at 2006. Have you, you got an upgrade? He said, no, I haven't. I said, I'm going to send you one. I took a brand new system and I send it to him. And I would do the same for you. I do upgrades for a lifetime. Okay. So if there's changes in my system, you get it for free. Uh, we just had a new upgrade of 42 pages. I personally uh, did most of it. And uh, it's a uh, it's ready, it's ready to, to head out, okay? As you can see, it's a lot of training, tools, resources, templates, scripts, plus coaching and mentoring with a lot of support. There is a low investment opportunity available for you today. Look, I had two choices with this program. One, make the investment really low and sell a lot of them, okay? And some speakers do that, which would be less work for me, but information products, this is very important. Information products do not create transformation when you have to figure it out on your own. You know, I'm the expert. You should get the best from me. 
So I did choice two. I charge a little bit more and help you get results that will make a difference, which makes both of us happier. I showed you a bunch of millionaires out there today. I have a plethora of millionaires and I have a plethora of more people, obviously, that have got private lenders. I, I was in St. Louis and I got done speaking and the guy come up to me. He said, I didn't know the guy. He said, he said, I want to help you. He said, I want to, want to thank you. He said, he said, I've got 70 properties all, all because of you. Anyhow, millionaire system is $997. It is a steal. I should raise the price with the inflation going on. It is, but I haven't changed the price in years. So you jump on this now. Maybe someday I'll feel like I need to do that. But uh, $997, you get everything I've talked about. Uh, RJ Phillips here, or JR Phillips out of Pittsburgh. He said, we had our first luncheon. And we raised $750,000 using Allen's material. I was able then to call nine people and raise another $665,000. He raised $1.4 million out there using the system. Now, how do you get it? You go here. I'm going to give you a second to uh, to type that, okay? Traction. I assume Tom is putting that in the chat box, too. TractionRia.com forward slash private money all spelled out, okay? TractionRia.com forward slash private money. And get started on this. Get started on this. In fact, I'm going to give you more bonuses here in a minute, and you're going to miss out if you don't stay ahead of this. You know, that's a small price to pay to have the potential of unlimited success at your fingertips. Heck, the bank will suck more than $997 out of your pocket on your next closing if you let them. I'd rather have, have you have your first private lender and get launched. Your return on investment. You've met some of my students and heard how they were able to success millions of dollars in private money using my system. So the question isn't if you'll get a return on your investment. It's how much, how much, you know, 50 times, you know, for a thousand dollars, you go out and you do a deal and you get, you know, within the next year, do a few deals. I mean, how many times has that thing paid for itself? Look, you got three days to check it out. Once it hits your doorstep, once you get your hands on my system, I sh I'll ship tomorrow. Um, you got three days to check it out. If it's not for you, you get a prompt and courteous refund. But I'll tell you something. It is rare that I get a refund. It is very, very rare. Why? Because my system works and people need it. You know, there's four parts of a real estate deal at the top level. Number one is you got to find a property that makes sense. Number two is you, you got to fund it. I am right at the pinnacle of that. You don't have to put up all that junk that I just showed you on on the rules of banks and hard money lenders. I'm right at the top on that. And it's the easiest, best, cheapest, and fastest way for you to go get money. Number number three is you enhance the value, rehab it. And number four is you either keep it or or sell it. And if you can't go buy the second item, you are dead in this business. Henry Grant, out in Minnesota, when I got ready to speak to 215 folks, he got up on stage, grabbed my mic, and he said, and he said, I was able to raise seven million dollars in private money. And it completely changed my life. Henry's there in a white shirt. You see everybody of his family there smiling. They're smiling because dad's got $7 million of private money. He's a hard money lender. And that's another thing. You can get my system and you can get a second stream of income by becoming a hard money lender. Think about that. Think about that. Yep. Let's talk about Valerie here. This just happened two weeks ago. And that was my very first choice because we had, I mean, as investors, developers, we need private money to get the deal done. We're not rich. Um, and so I signed up for his course and uh, I scrambled the money. When I say something like, I got a credit card right here, you yeah, got, okay, 100 on here, 100 on here, because I didn't have any money, right? So I was able to pay for the course and I flew out to um, Dallas, Texas uh, for the boot camp. I uh, went to the boot camp. And um, he gave us a homework assignment. So a lot of people in the room for all over. Um, so I did the homework assignment. I took it very seriously because this is my the last little bit of money I had. I have to make this work if I want to be in real estate. So I went back to the room, and one of the assignments he gave us was that we had to pull our family and friends in our network. So I got pulled out my phone and I started calling. So I was a little nervous because I'm like calling people, asking for money. But if he's saying this is what I need to do, I'm going to do. So 
from reading the script. My first person I called was my mom. Called my mom, told what I was doing and everything. And my mom was like, well, oh, I got $40,000. Like, this really works. So come back to class and so we asked everybody to did they know? So I'm like raising my hand, I'm done them over, so everybody had to line up at the mic. So we had to share our story. So I shared the story that I'm sharing to you all. And then so after that, they asked like certain people to come up to the front. So we came up to the front and then he did like a little voting thing. But long story short, because I only had like two minutes, um, I came in second place. So I went back home and um, to find deals at this point. So I'm at the local real meetings here. I've been a member here for a long time. And um, so I started looking for deals. So when I got the deal on the contract, I started calling these folks, right? Now I had to use hard money, but I had private money because I'm still new at this. So I had a little money because they want you to have skin in the game. And so what he teach you is like, they was like, oh, okay, we'll give you the money, but do you have 85,000? I can have 85,000. Well, yes, I had 85,000. So I was rolling like I had 85. Okay, we could close the deal. So what I did was I had them to move the money to the title company because you know you don't want people putting it in your hands and people thinking like oh you're gonna go back or something like that and so i moved the money over to the title, title company use the promissory note that uh, alan had provided and so now i um i own like 13 properties i'm building a hotel boutique i do airbnb i do travel <laughs> is your mic of uh, the newspaper for my hotel boutique, I was selected as one of the top 15 developers in the area to work on the Amazon affordable housing uh, project. Uh, <laughs> so I'm getting a little emotional because, um, you know, um, I'm a multi-millionaire. I'm happy to, to say this. I live on the water as well. Uh, I have two um, And I want to thank Alan because Sign up for all these courses and you spend your money. But this guy is the true deal, he's the real deal. And he changed my life. I'm so driven because I love what I do, you know. And um, and I just want to thank you, Alan. Um, you know, <laughs> yeah. because I worked in the government, I graduated, I had my master's, and I just wanted the financial freedom and do what I love to do. And real estate is what I love to do. I love hanging around like minded people like yourself. So, if any course that you invest in, invest in this course. Um, she says, well, he didn't even know I was coming up here. <laughs> I, I talked to Carolina because I wanted to share the story. Um, because you see all these people making all this money. How do you do this? How do you do this? I am the self-taught developer. I learned through trial and error on doing this business. You're gonna fall, you get back up. You know? So I know my time is <laughs> what she um what she told me after after she got done there, um I I, I asked her what she was doing. She's got a twenty-two million dollar commercial deal in 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 the works right now. She went from forty thousand dollars at my event to having a twenty-two million dollar apartment complex and all that cool stuff. She just rocks. That's where I want you to be. That's where you ought to be. Go to tractionria.com forward slash private money and let's get started. There are four more amazing bonuses. I'm going to give you more bonuses than I've ever given before uh, because I normally don't include these. I might include one or two. But I'm going to give four. I'm doing this basically for the Zebes. Uh, they've been great to me. Uh, appreciate them having me here. This is my uh, uh, home study system on a very unique thing that, that happens in California. But all of you can use this. Uh, I made up the name California Loophole. Um, it's a manual, three audios, an hour and a half video, and some forms. It's digital. It's 297. You're going to get it for free today uh, if you get my system. Uh, the cool thing about it is I put a 10-step checklist in there. What does this do? Well, there is a program in California for very, very, very little money that that they can uh, go out and start uh, marketing to people and they have a, uh, a where they can get $5 million year after year after year after year. 
and uh, you can they the money can be used in any state uh and you can live wherever you live i got students in canada doing this sucking money out of california um it's a great system great system but you get that today when you get the system the next one if you're in the nfl club no friends left this is the system that you want because this system here uh can help you get uh people that you don't know uh don't think you got anybody out there you can ask uh this is a dynamite dynamite 497 dollars value uh digital so i'll email it to you uh there's a video there's three manuals and forms this thing is gold uh this is a system that gary cassidy uh was able to have 150 folks all on one uh i don't know what he was having zoom or wherever it was at uh, but online and uh you know massing that five million dollars this bonus here is where uh, i came up with a system where i could buy five to seven properties a month month after month after month and it's 194 dollars value it's a manual three audios 15 forms i sat down with my team uh, my acquisition managers and uh and we uh put a recorder in the middle of the table and we recorded this so that's what's on those three audios there uh people love this okay yeah if you're doing residential stuff uh you need to check this this out okay and then i just added this for you guys this offer expires in the next 40 minutes we're coming up here right at the uh, the end of 90 minutes so in the next 45 minutes um if you don't get my system in the next 45 minutes you lose this this is where um i'm going to do a zoom presentation monday with you and get you launched um this is a 90 minute class uh I rarely, rarely do this. So this is a very special thing. Uh, so it, it's a Zoom meeting. Uh, so I'll get your email when you guys buy tonight and you got 45 minutes to do it. Clock's ticking, maybe you're down to 44 minutes now. Um, so it's eye-opening experience on the easy ways to get private money. Um, this is here again, a gift because I appreciate uh, the Zebes. So you got 45 minutes on. This. If you're outside that 45 minutes, then you're out of luck. Okay, so don't wait on this. Private lending concept is revolutioning our, our business. Imagine having a million dollars just a phone call away. What would that do for you and your family? Think about that going forward. You know, don't you want to be the best you can do to help folks succeed? I've created a three-day virtual boot camp that I want to talk to you about. Uh, in fact, this guy over here, I tell you, the guy on kneeling on the right hand side, you might have seen him on uh, Flipping Boston. Um, friend of mine, Dave Seymour, uh, came to the event. Where do you think he got the money now to go flip pro property? Okay. Um, it's the Where to Get the Money Boot Camp. It's a three-day event. We're doing it on Zoom. Uh, November, I might be live. Okay. I know a lot of people are pushing for live. But right now, uh, July 20th and 22nd, uh, we're doing it on Zoom. Um, those are the last two. We've already had one this year. Do three a year starts anytime even next year you can do it next year if you if you uh, you know these dates don't work uh but then you can come back for ever for free i've got a lady in orlando her name's candy she's been to my boot camp eight times and it's free you pay for it now you come back forever for free i see other speakers sometimes charge for people to come back i don't do that you get a boot camp manual value 500 bucks you can return forever for free it's tax deductible and you know those certificates i talk about in the credibility kit i'm going to have one for you have one for you to get you kicked off using a, a credibility kit in every single boot camp i have many students have acquired their first private lender my students have raised over a half a billion dollars in the first 24 hours of my events since i started i had a guy call up his name's carl he said are you for real i said yeah i'm for real i was actually driving in my car and we, we were talking and, and he said he said i've heard good things about you but i don't want to show up if this thing's a a, a sellathon or or something like that I waste my time i said it's not going to waste your time and it's not a sellathon i said we raised money there and i explained a little background on it. he said i'm coming and and this is what he did he came yeah. I came here because we had listened to the cds as alan had instructed us so i came here and did the homework uh, we were working the homework prior to arriving and knew what we were going to have to do the first evening in terms of our assignment. And so I came prepared and I actually got commitments for $40 million of uh, capital. So I just really encourage those that are, that are listening to my my uh, my words here. If you're, if you're not committed to go, go.
He raised 42 million. He said 40 there. He raised 42 private money. And then nine months later, I met him up in uh, Cleveland. <laughs> and he, he, he always wants to hug me and give me a kiss on the cheek. He's so happy. But he raised another 230 million on top of the 42. Add the 42 and the 230, 230. That's huge. That's huge. That's the most biggest number I've seen. But, you know, some of you, you'd be happy with, 20, you know, 20,000. But, uh, and how did Valerie start out? She, she started out at 40,000, right? So he, he's crushing it. Now it's up to you. If all this program does for you is make your business profitable or more profitable, gives you a gentle kick in the butt, enables you to do your first real estate deal and gives you access to millions and millions and millions of dollars, would it be worth it? Heck yes. The question is, is it worth to find out? Even if it does half of what it did for my students, I think somebody would be just elated. It, it will pay for itself many times over on your very first deal. To get the boot camp, you got to add 500 to the 997. Okay, so it's 1497 to get the whole shooting match, the, the millionaire home study system with the three-day event. Okay, I put a, time, a lot of time and effort in that event, and I teach my heart out. And it's live. It's live just like this. So 997 for the home study, I would highly recommend, obviously, that you take the 1497 because you get me. I mean, if you learned anything today, which I'm sure you did, you know, I did it for 90 minutes. Imagine me for three days with you, what could happen, okay? There's how you do it. TractionRia.com forward slash private money. TractionRia.com forward slash private money. Tom, you out there? I sure am. Well, good. That's super, super, super. Do we got any questions? Yes, a bunch of questions in the chat. So let me, um, and just if I, if you went over any of them, just say so. I mean, I remember every little bit. Let's okay. see here. Uh, start with some questions from Jerry, a.k.a. Mikey. Uh, question, Alan, do you still have a list of lenders that uh, that system will send a letter to them? I purchased your system quite a few years ago. Yeah, we got that list uh, out there. We update it every single month. Okay. okay. So, uh, yeah, it's it, we keep up with that. All right. Okay. We scrape the whole United States and uh, every month and and put it into the to the website. And, yeah, okay. awesome. it's, it's gold. It's, <laughs> it's also gold. asking, have there been changes to your course? Do you still use the clamshell? You know, I, I'm i glad you asked that. Um, <laughs> I gave I gave up on that about a year ago, uh, maybe maybe a little bit more than that. Um, no, I I uh, it's it's now uh, email, so I use the audio that came on the CD. Um, I pulled that off, and then uh, uh, my students get that when they buy, and they can just eat. if you need that if you're you know one of my students and, and you don't have that you know let me know and I'll I'll email it to you. Okay. okay. So you can email Sorry, that. Yeah, reach, but the clamshell is gone. Reach out to us. We'll make sure you're taken care of. You, know, you, heard, you heard what he had to say about updates. Yes. Uh, okay. Another question here. Do you still agree with the three touch uh, to use uh, lenders? Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that's that's good. You know, you can do that. Three touch rules. Um, okay. the, 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 it, it works, you know, and, uh, and you... Uh, with the three touch rule, what happens is is you gotta um, have strangers. You got, you're working with typically with strangers or somebody in the NFL club, and uh, and you work that and it and it works. And I and I, I just gave everybody that buys a full system, so it's very rare that I give away that many uh, packages all, all in this. Like I said, I, you folks have the best stuff I today uh, than I've ever given. Yeah, I'll for that. You've, and which, and I appreciate because you've literally packed everything in there. That's awesome. Yeah, I had to hurry there to try, try to get them all put together at the, at the, you know, so everybody understood them a little bit at the end. Yeah. Gotcha. And do you still have the PP program for a luncheon to attract lenders? Um, what, do you, what do you mean PP? I'm, I'm reading it, but I think it means PowerPoint. Uh, oh yeah oh yeah that's that all my students get that that is still gold um the um uh, it's the same one i i used years ago and awesome. so I, I haven't changed it because it worked i mean when <laughs> i walked out of those two meetings and i had all these people throwing money at me i 
I didn't want to do it. I'll tell you the story though. I was out in uh, Arizona. I heard somebody here before I got started today talking about Arizona. I love Arizona. Um, the uh, 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 I was at a big seminar, and it's one of these where they had flights. You know, a lot of different, uh, like seven speakers going on at the same time. And I, I had one of my students there that had my system, and he wanted to talk to me, him and his wife. And we went out in the hallway, and uh, he opened up his briefcase, got his laptop out, and booted up. And what he had done was change the background on my 37 slides. And he was wondering why things didn't work, but he had never tried just using mine the way it was. So I, I encourage people to use mine, make it, it'll work. And, and if you, if it doesn't get a hold of me and we'll, we'll, we'll fix it. Okay. But yeah. It'll awesome. work. Yeah. Oh, cool. So then just so everyone's clear, there's a part of your, uh, one of the things that's in your package is a, is a PowerPoint presentation. So you can easily conduct a luncheon to attract lenders and, and, and convince people to become your private lenders. Yeah, thank you. I, a little background to that, Tom. What happened was uh, when I quit my job and the bank quit me, I, I, I didn't want to drown. I had, I had to move. So I had, I, I had this meeting, but I had a little bit of time on the meeting. Um, uh, it was about uh, six weeks or so. And so what I did was I spent every waking hour uh, putting this PowerPoint presentation together. I had to hone hone it and, and make sure it was just right. And I, I looking back on it, um, and I've said this for years, I think I have a hundred hours in that 37 slides. Yeah. And I would I had been skilled in PowerPoint in corporate America. In fact, I even flew, I had a team and we flew to uh, England and we were in a soccer stadium doing a presentation. And I gave a 20 minute presentation and that's about all I did in that whole trip. <laughs> so, so, uh, <laughs> nice. and, uh, so I got a, a trip to, uh, to actually uh, England and, and Paris went both places with a team. And uh, wow. yeah, but that PowerPoint slide, uh, I, I fortunately had some skill in corporate America. And then uh, when I was desperate to change my life, I, Put together a PowerPoint slide and it just worked and it worked and it worked and and uh, the it it just does everything that you would want it to do. So you know some people want to go on and change it. That's fine if you got it. You want to change it. You think it's going to look prettier? Go make it prettier. But but it works what it does now. And just think about the person in Arizona that uh, changed the background and and it was kind of a poop brown and it didn't work. So, <laughs> gotcha. Happy to use it as is. Nothing wrong with that. Alan, Paul's asking, so is this a personal loan or a non-secured loan? It is It is personal. What happens is I give them a mortgage, a promissory note, has insurance, lender, title insurance, and a disclosure. And I should tell you that in my home study system, the millionaire system, I give you a nine-page disclosure and my attorney set it up as a fill-in-the-blank. So it makes your life so much easier rather than going from scratch on on going in and paying an attorney, you know, $1,500 to, to do a disclosure. You could start with mine. Of course, I would prefer, and I tell my students, that you fill it out and then you give it to an attorney to dot the I's and cross the T's. But they, they only should charge you one hour of attorney time on that. If they say more than that, go get another attorney. Gotcha. And Chad's asking, uh, what about funds for rehab? Uh, you know, because if you're only speaking to the deal itself is... Uh... You, you can you can use this funds for rehab, correct? Yes, I get it all. I take it all. I, I you know, four parts of real estate deal. I need need the money to uh, to you know fund what I'm I'm buying, and then number two, closing cost money, and then number three, what you're talking about, Chad, is is the the rehab, and I, I add on a little bit more. So here's the deal. Here's what happens, and I know this is a little bit confusing, but it's very simple. The the private lender wants to make a high rate of return, and they want to get their money working. So they're happier the more that you take, all right? So when you call them up, you've already done the math in your head and you just say, I need a quarter million dollars or I need $270,000 or I need a million dollars, whatever it is, you've already done the math. You got to have all of those four covered, okay? Now on the last one on money for my pocket, you know, sometimes that can be high because I, I got a lot of room on this deal or it might be, tiny, but I always take money out. Always take money out. And you should too, because you could run into a problem and you need that money to, to fix the problem. And if you don't, then you, you got 
then have a party. You got, got extra extra waiting for you. Nothing wrong with that. Cool. Alan, uh, Paul's asking, does the money go directly into escrow? Yes. Okay. But it doesn't go until I trigger it. What will happen there is, is when I up the ante, we get a number. I say, you made a wise decision. And I say, here's how it works. You don't make the check out to me. I'll call you up in the next four to six weeks and we'll get your money working. Does that work for you? And they will say yes. And I say, I will let you know when to, when to, when to send it and where to send it. When, I, when they give me a, a yes, I don't tell them where the money's going. Okay, I don't tell them which title company it's going to or whatever. I just tell them that that, that when I'm ready, I'll give them a call. Okay? okay, and then they're they're ready, and they're always ready. They're more than ready. <laughs> they want to get the money working. That works. Phillips asking, um, why is it a self directed IRA and not a self directed four hundred one k? Um, I've never dealt with a self directed four hundred one k. I I I came out of Honeywell. Um, after 17 and a half years, and I had a 401k, and I rolled it over into Equity Trust, a self-directed IRA company, and I uh, and I I have spoke for other IRA companies. Uh, they asked me to come in and speak, but but I I've always handled it like that. So I mean, if you've got knowledge, you know, on a on a 401k, self-directed 401k, then uh, yeah, I I don't know. I don't know specific reasons, Philip. I mean, I, I use uh, self-directed IRA, Roth IRA for everything as well, including the loans. So, uh, you know, and mine are with uh, specialized uh, trust company. So, and, and, which is it's still the recommendation. So I think check with your IRA people. It would be in good shape. Uh, Alan also asking, uh, uh, Philip's also asking, do private lenders need to be accredited? Well, some do. Uh, some don't. So, um there are uh, some rules out there, like in a PPM, private placement memorandum. I teach my students that. Uh, I teach them about uh, 504 Reg Ds. Um, and, and so with a PPM, uh, there is now uh, two different ones, a Rule B and a Rule C. What happened is there used to be one PPM where uh, you couldn't advertise. And what happened in, in 2012, in the first quarter, when the uh, jobs Act uh, came in, the, uh, the Congress wanted there to be a way that we could have, uh, you know, uh, advertise. And the SEC didn't want to do it. It took them till uh, September of 2013 before they had birth on it. And they birthed a uh, Rule B, R-U-L-E-B. Uh, and it's pretty much the same way the old one was, where you could have 35 non-accredited and the rest have to be accredited, Okay but you cannot advertise with that one. But they also birthed a rule C. And in the rule C, you can advertise, um, and, and but everybody has to be accredited. Gotcha. So, okay. so, Is there an acquisition fee? Yeah. Okay. That, yeah. That's also a separate question as well. Let's go through. But well, it's explained in that, in that how I buy five to seven houses a month. I mean, it's, it's really detailed in there. Okay. That they're going to get it for free when they get my system. Special. Okay. Awesome. And let's see, a bunch of thank yous in here. Greg's thank asking, you. Um, how will you pay back the loans? Well, what happens is, is sometimes I'm, uh, I pay over time. You know, there's three ways I told you about the, the what I, I, let me start at the beginning. Well, I, I regret not doing more amortized loans. And so, um, I, I just didn't focus on that. I started out with my mom with, with simple interest only where the, the thing would not pay down like a bank CD. I set it up like a bank CD, except I didn't, didn't put it in the early withdrawal. You know, if they want their money back, I give them the money back. Um, but I, you know, I, I started out with that. Uh, and then I gravitated into when I, I tapped into the 401ks and things got crazy money coming at me. Um, then I, I realized that I could do deals and not have to worry about monthly payments because of the four, what I described before. So uh, I I got 30 year loans amortized right now with with some of my you know my property and and you know things like that. So okay. yeah. Okay. And Michelle's asking for your buy and holds. Who do you refinance through? Do you use the banks then? 
Yes. Okay. Yep. She was use bank refinance, take the money out, pay off the yeah. Limits. That works. All right, let's see. Uh, a bunch more. Thank yous. Thank you. Thank you. And let's see. Dan is asking, Alan, at the beginning of the webinar, you gave a percentage of your students who use your program for commercial real estate. What's that percentage and how do the rules differ? Yeah, 35 to 40%. I, I, I haven't looked at that in a while, um, but but when I did look at it, it, it sorted down to about that and they're doing everything uh, that you can imagine out there. I mean, uh, you, you heard there, you know, Valerie, and she's doing a $22 million deal. So, um, you know, so nice of her to do that. I didn't know, I hadn't seen her since, since she was in Texas years and years and years ago. So, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The, the backstory on that video of, of Valerie that Alan showed is that two weeks ago at the uh, Traction Rea DC meeting, Valerie walked in uh, uh, unannounced and then she stood up and just gushed about how, you know, her life had totally changed. She's become a multimillionaire from Alan's system, from taking it, implementing it, using it, raising money and then and doing lots of deals. And then she's got some massive deals on the table right now. It's fantastic. We're, we're all proud and happy for her. Yeah. And if you notice there during that, she got, she got very emotional. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And what, what you didn't see is, is her and I having a big hug. <laughs> because she was so happy gotcha. that I was there. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. It was a great day. It was a great day. Got you. Um, Juan put some comments in there about the, the, the 401k, solo 401ks, uh, solo 401ks might be a better option. You guys can read that in the chat there. Uh, what else we have here? Jake is asking, what are the items that are used to protect the lender's money? Mortgage, yeah. promissory note, title insurance, yeah, let me walk through a mortgage, promissory note, hazard insurance, lender and owner title insurance, and a disclosure. I normally wrap those two together on the, uh, you know, title insurance. I just say title insurance, but it's actually, I always get lender and I get owner. Lender pays down over time, owner stays the same. Gotcha. Okay. I'll tell you what happened to me. I, uh, since you brought that up, what was, who's, who brought that up? Uh, Jake Drains. Jake? Yeah, what happened to me was yeah. I uh, uh, had a property, uh, getting ready to sell it, got a buyer, and uh, the buyer went in to, to do a title peek, and I didn't own the property. But I had paperwork that said that I did because I had <laughs> owner and uh, <laughs> owner title insurance. And so I went into my attorney that had closed the deal, and he about fell out of his chair. He turned around called up the title company and I'll bet that person did fall out of their chair because I had documentation that I had owner's title insurance and somehow, some way, they didn't get it covered. Uh, I don't know what happened. In fact, frankly, I didn't care, but two months or two weeks later, uh, I got it sold. So they did some kind of magic to get this thing sold. I don't know what happened, but but uh, something they, they somebody missed a step in there somewhere. It yep. happens. Yeah. All right. Um, that's the bottom of the question list so far. If anyone else has anything, either uh, get it in the chat there, lickety split, or uh, you can unmute and say hello as well. I think uh, I think my little guy wanted to introduce somebody. There you go. He's all smiles for you, Alan. Well, great. I can't see it. I'm looking at my screen here. No, so. it's all right. <laughs> yeah. It's a giant smiling Mr. Happy, so it's okay. yeah. hey. all right. Yeah, he's a great kid. Yeah, I say. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Uh, yeah. uh, Jerry's asking about Donna. How's Donna doing? Donna, Donna, I talked to Donna yesterday. In fact, we met. We met out to, to hand off some paperwork. Um, so uh, she she's nice enough to pick up my mail for, for me while I was traveling around to D.C. and in Florida. Uh, wow. She is awesome. I mean, she is she has uh, she's a sweetheart. She's just great. Uh, she is. Uh, 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 really focused on her grandchildren. And uh, she told me about some special stuff that she's going to be doing with them in the next month. And uh, she, uh, she had some family that she hadn't seen in a long, long time. And here the last couple of years, uh, they connected back. Donna reached out to uh, the, the girl and now they're, they're doing everything together. And so she just living the dream right right now she's just doing great and so everyone knows donna's your, your long time assistant yeah right? she's she's 20 year military 
And then she came to work for me, been work for me for 15, 16 years. And so she traveled all over the world. I mean, she's in Germany and all, uh, you know, in Alaska. And she, she traveled all over the world uh, in the military for 20, 20 years. And then, uh, and then she hired in, in my company. <laughs> it was nice. the best thing that happened to me having Donna, cause she's amazing. Yeah. Brilliant. All the Brilliant. difference. Yeah. There's another question from Juan. Uh, he says, in the case of the gentleman who used the system to become a hard money lender, how do yeah. the guarantees work for, for the private money lender? Is, is it still an escrow at closing? How does yeah. it work? Yeah, so it, it's pretty simple. Uh, you know, with a private lender, they don't come to closing. Uh, I have never had uh, one of my private lenders show up at closing. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, if you got in a, an acquisitions manager, they go for you. Okay. Um, and so, uh, but prior to that, I went to a lot of closings. And so, uh, in fact, that's how I ran into to Brad. Um, Brad, I call him my rookie realtor. And uh, he, uh, he just got out of college and he became a realtor, but he, I met him at a, at a closing. It was his second closing. He uh, not, uh, they just sent him in to get the check. He'd never done a deal. And uh, with him, I set up the uh, how to five, do the five to seven properties a month program and made him a ton of money. Who pays the realtor? The seller pays the realtor. I never paid Brad one penny, but he made a lot of money. I made a lot of money and, uh, and the, you know, the, uh, the company did. Um, and so along the way, though, I taught him how to get private money. And he amassed $8 million of private money. I didn't, I didn't think he's going to amount to anything. And I hate, hate to say that because he's a great guy. Um, he's an airplane. He's he working on his pilot license right now. And his, his boy's playing golf and doing great. Um, and he, uh, uh, he, just, he just got, he, he had five, he has, has or had five storage units. He bought some uh, massive uh, apartment complexes here in town. And he did 500, and you're going to fall out of your chair because he had a, a team doing this, but 597 houses in one year in 26 states. Woo. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Here's yeah. another question. It's a guy who one more here from uh, Manish. Uh, can one keep the private money in a real estate business bank account and use it at closing? Uh, I, the, the I idea would never do that. Wait into, no. Never do it again. Never. His idea is to not to wait till closing so you can buy the property in a business name. No, so you, what you do you is it? you don't touch the money yourself. You don't put it in something where, you, you know, it might go south and, and all that. You want to protect not only yourself, but you got to protect the lender. And so you need to um, send the money to, you know, the bank doesn't give you the money early, right? Well, <laughs> your lender, pretend your lender is the bank. They, they shouldn't give you the money early either. You know, you need to protect them and they don't know. They don't know the rules. Like I told you, that lady walked in with a hundred ten thousand dollar check. Yeah. You know, uh, you, you just you just got to make sure that you keep them safe, and that's your job. You got to take care of that. So, so yeah, don't do that stuff there that you said. Gotcha. Awesome. All right, Alan. A, you know, that's a good thing, Tom, about having this is because uh, that question other people on here might not know either. You know, yeah. so everybody gets trained. There's things to do. There's things not to do. You got to know. Gotta, you got to know them both, and that's 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 what's nice about how how clinical your system lays it all out. Yep, it does. You know, one of the things I was thinking about when I was getting ready for this, I wish I could, I could share more. I mean, we got 90 minutes, and and it's like, you know, there's so much out there that I could that I could share to help people. So the the best way though is to get the system, get the system, and on that one offer of where I'm going to teach people. Uh, and do some training in 90 minutes next Monday. Uh, they got uh, what uh, 20 minutes before that's over, so they they need to go to gotcha, yeah. yep. com forward slash private money. Yep, so you said it's a quarter, quarter past the hour that offer is open to you. Got so, it. uh, good uh, Juan who's saying he got the uh, boot camp, uh, he got the program and the boot camp. Awesome. Uh, Juan's asking now. How do you protect the deal in the event that a private lender might get cold feet at closing? What happens if they if, if they try to bail out? The only the only time I see that, I'm going to take you down two paths. One, the only the only time I see that is if if somebody has a 401k 
and they have to in this dormant 401k and they got to roll it over into a self-directed IRA and and they and they procrastinate they don't do it and I don't chase chase them I give them one shot I uh, you know f five to seven days pick up the phone say how it's going well, I haven't done it yet I let them come to me and I go start looking for another private lender okay now let me take you down another path when do private lenders bail on you well uh you if you have a, a ton of private lenders in two years you might have one ask for their money back now why is that well first off that means that the other private lenders don't they stick because they like what's going on and they're getting a nice rate of return and they trust you that's one of the key things they trust you but what happens is sometimes people have uh issues in their in their home for an example um kids going to college i had a beautiful house the guy um uh, my private lender had two daughters and the two daughters um got up to college age and he needed that was his whole goal was to build his money uh to where that he could fund the the girls college and so he asked for the money back it wasn't time to sell the property but but uh so i paid him back and and then i got another lender in there so if they have a, a life change life change like what i just described kids going to college um sometimes it it might be uh they've got a an adult child in their house a son like in their house in their basement and they want to get him out and they go find a house for him and they put the money in that house or they get a divorce and so um that might be you know if you've got 20 lenders and maybe 30 uh, you in two two years you might have one person ask for the money back and they they don't want to bring it back then but they got to for whatever reason personally that they got to do it but it's not a lot and it's really simple it's really simple you just uh in ohio we we use attorneys uh for a lot of stuff uh, and so you just have the attorney uh switch it out and sometimes what will happen is with that new money coming in um i might ask for a little bit more and so i can put some of it in my pocket and i never pay directly to the to the uh, title company or the, the attorney because it's all covered in closings with the private lender money so i don't take one penny of cool. you know that yeah and i put put it in my pocket and close it cool. terrific all yeah. right well we are at the bottom of the uh question i think we have uh Wait. Dan, you got a question there hi yeah hi uh this is uh dan in denver uh, i've got a question um alan do you ever so that uh instance someone that question you answered there uh someone wants their money back do you ever go back to them or accept a, to work with them again as a deal or do you just say no never again am i going to work with no, you I would, if something I would, like that no my people they would have a life change i yeah. trust them maybe I'm, I'm sorry that you know they're having problems right okay and i would i would always take them back okay okay just wondering yeah that's yeah it. no great question i've never had that question thank you i haven't either thank you to the hey, man yeah, who I, asked I, it I, yeah i enjoyed teaching out in denver okay do you ever I, I have a second question do you ever come out to different rias around the country would you ever yes, be interested I, in doing that yes i am interested in doing that I'm okay sure. yep be i'll see if to. i can get you out to our ria here in denver that'd be <laughs> great that'd be great thank you thank you terrific all right anyone else with a question either live or in the chat uh we'll go once go twice and then that'll be that alan um your offer is open for about another 17 minutes, so quarter past the hour. Yeah, it's quarter past nine East Coast, but it doesn't matter what quarter past the hour is quarter past the hour, uh, no matter yeah, what. That's for that. That's for that one for me personally, training them Monday. Yeah, for 90 That'd minutes. Awesome. Yeah. All yeah, right. Get them launched. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I appreciate a super thorough presentation uh with uh, a massive q a session with all answered perfectly as well that's love it i think in terms of look i mean you know getting your getting your uh business either rolling getting it to scale getting it to expand it always comes back to hey i gotta have enough money for the deals this is the solution that's right it's easier than what folks think too you know well, particularly when you have a path to follow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you, when, you know, I got the I got the system all laid out for them. In fact, I, what I do, um, and, and uh, is uh, I, I have a a five step 
steps to success uh, that's encased in plastic, eight and a half by 11 piece of paper encased in plastic so you don't lose it or throw it away when they get the system and they just follow it step by step. First step is listen to the audios and, that, and then their brain gets so big that, you know, and they just keep going on the thing. So, right. uh, but I got step by step and, and they go through the five steps and they're launched. Perfect. Well, here's what's going to happen. I'm putting the link in the chat one more time. You've got about 15 minutes on the nose to use that link to get the special offer. So go ahead and do that now. And then, Alan, I'm going to leave the Zoom open for a bit so I can clear out the private chat. I got to check here on the news machine as well to see what private chat's in there. You okay. are welcome to, uh, you can um, you can click bye-bye. Uh, and that's what we'll say for now. So uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for everything you've taught. Really appreciate it. And uh, look forward to talking to you again soon. Yeah, good, good talking to you. And thanks, everybody. I, I appreciate you uh, getting the training. Uh, it's so important, and I have a passion for this. So thank you for being here. To your wealth. Thanks, Alan.